Hello everyone, today we are going to be installing the Windows Technical Preview onto a virtual hard drive that we are going to create within Windows. Um, this is only supported in Windows 7 and up. First thing you need to do is download the Windows Technical Preview ISO for the correct, uh, you need the correct version for your PC. More than likely it will be 64-bit. After you download this, the first thing you're going to want to do is extract the contents. So we will just go ahead and extract this here. <coughs> yeah, we should probably not do any spaces. Now it's gonna go ahead and extract the contents of the ISO. While this is happening we can go to computer management disk management in here we are going to want to go click action click create a virtual hard drive now I picked VHDX resilient power failure events yada yada this is only supported in Windows 8.1 or higher We're going to go ahead and change that to gigabytes and I made mine a static 25 gigabyte hard drive for performance reasons uh, dynamically expanding is not going to be very performance friendly now I will go ahead and put this on my my C drive is my solid state drives so I will go ahead and put that on there and we'll just call it Windows 10 hit save hit OK now it's going to create our virtual hard drive so all that's going now that we have the Windows technical preview ISO uncompressed or un ISO it I should say I'm gonna go, go in here see that everything looks good looks like everything's good no errors from extracting now you're going to want to open up your command prompt you may have to run this on as administrator on your PC first thing we're going to want to do is depending on where your files are you're gonna wanna switch to that drive <coughs> Now you're going to want to go ahead and change directories to the sources folder from the ISO that you extracted. So we'll just copy and paste this in here, change the directory to that. Um, the next command that you are going to want to enter is running dism. This, uh, basically what this command here will do is apply the image from the selected install WIM file to the directory of your choosing. So now we have to wait for our virtual hard drive to finish creating here, which 97%. Okay, now we have an uninitialized virtual hard drive. First thing we need to do with that is initialize the disk. I usually select GPT. It's newer. Why not? Go ahead and initialize. It's initialized. Create a new simple volume. I, when I originally did this, I left about 400 megs of free space because I was not sure if it had to create the, uh, uh, like the recovery partition that a normal Windows install would do. I don't think it, it doesn't need to be done after after the fact, but I, I still just do it. Assign it a drive letter. Make note of this drive letter. You'll need this in the future. Next, don't really want a volume name. NTFS, quick format. Next, finish. Now it's going to format and give us a drive here. Now we can bring our command prompt back up 
and take note of that drive letter that we assign this virtual hard drive as F. So we want to make sure our apply directory is the F drive. Now we are going to go ahead and hit enter. This will launch the deployment image service and management tool and start applying the image to the selected drive and or directory. This will take some time depending on the speed of your computer. So while this is going on we can go ahead and get another command prompt set up for adding this drive to the bootloader there's a few ways to do this um, this is by far the easiest way to do it because this will not interfere if you're running secure boot the first time I tried to do this I uh, ran a series of commands through the command prompt to add it to the bootloader and it was telling me that the uh, winload.exe was not signed I switched to winload.efi it also said that was not signed and I ended up coming using Google and coming across this command here where we can just this simple command will add our F drive to the boot list and it points to the Windows directory that it's making that I will show you in a minute so now we just need to wait for the image to finish being applied to our F drive if we take a look while that is running you can see that it's actually expanding the files like Windows is installed. You have your Windows directory, your program files, etc., etc. Now that the operation is completed successfully, that means the image has been applied to our mounted virtual hard drive. We can go ahead and close this window, and we can go run our bcd boot command to edit our boot files and add that entry successfully. We can go ahead and close that, and see that everything looks the way it should here. Now we can leave this mounted. What you're going to want to do now is restart your computer. I'm not going to show that part because when you reboot you are going to it's going to look like it's loading Windows which it is it's loading the boot manager for Windows and it's going to give you two options. It's going to give you your primary operating system and then it is going to say I believe technical preview something I believe you're obviously going to want to click on the technical preview that's going to start booting windows as if you just copied all the files to the hard drive and now you're going to go ahead the setup's going to go ahead and comp and uh, finish adding your hardware to the windows install like you would normally see if you were installing windows fresh you're going to let it do that enter all the information you need to and then it will uh, kick you out to the desktop and then you will have a functioning copy of a non-virtualized instance of the Windows 10 technical preview. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you.